Hi everyone, I hope you are all safe and healthy with your family and friends. In this video, we are going to learn about 11th Standard Accountancy Chapter 10 Depreciation Accounting Exercise Sum Number 8. Let's read the transaction. A manufacturing company purchased on 1 1st April 2010 a plant and machinery for Rs. 4,50,000 and spent 50,000 rupees on its installation. After having used it for 3 years, it was sold for Rs. 3,85,000. Depreciation is to be provided every year at the rate of 15% per annum on fixed installment method. Accounts are closed on 31st March every year. Calculate profit or loss on sale of machinery. Listen here, we have to look at two points here. What are they? What they given to what they given and what they ask. Okay. Let's see what they given. A company purchased a purchased asset on 1st April 2010. Okay. And the amount of asset is 4,50,000 okay after purchasing asset they spend 50,000 for its installation charges okay then they used the asset for three years after used asset those they sold it for 3,85,000 they calculated the rate of depreciation is 15 percentage on fixed installment method which means straight line method the other name of fixed installment method is straight line method and every year they close the accounting period on dated on 31st March okay so what they ask calculate profit and loss on the sale of machinery okay now we are going to find the profit or loss for the sale of machinery okay what met, uh, which method they used they used fixed installment method that means straight line method for depreciation okay 15 percentage depreciation so we prepare the format like particulars and amount the cost of asset is 4,50,000 when did they purchased 1 4 2010 that means 1st April 2010 okay after purchased asset they spent 50,000 for the installment okay we have to add that 50,000 rupees installment charges with the cost of price okay so 4 lakh 50,000 plus 50,000 we will get 5 lakhs rupees this is the original cost of the asset now we are going to find out the first year depreciation that means dated on 2010 to 11 that means 1 4 2010 to closing accounting period that that is 31st 3 2011 the original cost is 5 lakh into 15 percentage depreciation after we cancel it we will get 75,000 we have to subtract that 75,000 from 5 lakhs we will get 4 lakhs 50,000 now we are going to find out the second year depreciation dated on 2011 to 12 Okay, second year depreciation dated is 1-4-2011. Listen, the first year closing accounting period is 31st 3, 2011. The next day of the 31st 3 is 1-4-2011. This is the opening accounting period for the asset. Okay. And the closing accounting period is 31-3-2012. Now we are going to calculate after cancel it 15 percentage from 5 lakhs we will get 75,000. We have to subtract 75,000 from the 4 lakh 25,000 we will get 3 lakh 50,000. Now we are going to find out the third year depreciation dated on 2012 to 13. Third year depreciation date is 14-2012 that means after the closing for 31st 3 2012 the next day is 1 4 2012 this is the opening accounting period and the closing accounting period is 31st 3 2013 for the third year okay after cancel the 15 percentage from depreciation from 5 lakhs we will get 75,000 now we are subtracted 
75,000 from 3,50,000 we will get 2,75,000 this is the book value of the asset okay and after used the asset they sold that asset at the rate of 3,85,000 now we have to find out the profit or loss of the asset so we have to subtract it the different amount is 1,10,000 so this is the profit of the sale profit of the asset after selling okay okay how do we say this is the profit or loss listen the selling price is given in the transaction right the selling price is more than that of, more than that of the book value of the asset the difference is profit okay they have given the selling price we have find we find the book value after 3 years depreciation we found the book value that is 2,75,000 we have to subtract it the difference is that we will get 1,10,000 the selling price is more than that of the book value the difference is profit so for that this is the profit on sale of the asset okay thank you take care